wow, what an inter interesting commercial. Who would have known that talking animal selling insurance would be a billion dollar industry? Not me. If you missed the show intro or other spots, shame on you. Be thankful, all is not lost though. Check out load testing SharePoint 2013 using Visual Studio 2013 for the show intro and the nuts and bolts of upgrading the SharePoint 2013 session for our earlier interviews. Now, I'd like to welcome to the stage the man who's famous for being famous, Mr. Todd Clint and his kitty, Snoopy. Welcome, Todd. Why, thank you, thank you. Uh, Snoopy and I are happy to be here, as you can tell. He's, uh, he's been looking forward to this all day. Uh, we, ju we just got off a plane. Uh, Snoopy and I were in Africa digging uh, water wells uh, for those folks over there using our bare hands and, and paws. Uh, so, and we rescued some orphans from a burning church. Oh, that was very kind of you. I, and Snoopy, I mean, did you just tell him there was a mouse down there or something? Was he, was he digging for the mouse? Snoopy's very about helping people. It really happened once uh, when Snoopy was talking to uh, Bono's dog, uh, uh, Tippy, and Tippy was telling uh, Snoopy about all the fun that he has in Africa. And so the next time Bono and I went down, uh, you know, Snoopy asked if he could come along. Oh, it's been Snoopy, a life-changing experience. Snoopy seems very calm and gentle there as he's chewing your finger off. Uh, we've been working on his interviewing skills. Uh, you know, originally I had one of those little dogs in a purse, uh, but that uh, that didn't work out. So uh, uh, Snoopy here's replacing him, and I think he's doing a good job. I think the camera loves him. I, I really yeah, do. That's, that's that's very nice there, Snoopy. Um, so, you know, Todd, you're the guy who's famous for being famous. I mean, clearly you've already name-dropped Bono and his dog, Tinkerbell, or whatever it was. What um, you know, were you down at Florida drag racing last night too? I mean, what what other stories you want to tell us here, famous boy? Well, once, my lawyer says I'm not allowed to comment on any drag racing in Florida right now. Could we could we move on? I'm yeah, I, I know nothing about that. Um, uh, Snoopy, go take care of that. Um, so so a lot of people uh, think that I am uh, famous for being famous. Uh, some people, which is clearly not true. I've, I've earned all of this with the, with the hair and the style. I mean, um, the Backstreet Boys called. They wanted to add a sixth member. They want. They want me to do it. Some people think that I'm famous for that video that alleged of allegedly of me that stuck out to the internet. Um, that was not me. Clearly, that. And I apparently can't talk about that either. But what I'm really famous for is my PowerShell skills. That's really, really what uh, what I want, want to talk to people about today. Oh, so you're talking about the, um, um, you know, the, the interesting session you have coming up at the SharePoint conference in Las Vegas. Windows PowerShell with SharePoint 2013 and SharePoint Online. Hashtag SPC 367. That's the one. Yeah, so uh, the, the SharePoint conference, as all of our viewers here know, will be March 3rd through the 6th in Las Vegas. I will just be coming back from uh, le leading some orphans up uh, Mount Kilimanjaro for a hike, and then I'm going to fly right over to Las Vegas and do that uh, session on PowerShell. And uh, it's, it's going to be great. We're going to talk about how to use PowerShell with uh, on-premises SharePoint. We're going to talk about how to use PowerShell with uh, SharePoint in the cloud, that whole Office 365 thing. Everybody will come out of that session a better person. Not nearly as famous and good looking as me, but a better person nonetheless. So, wait, you're climbing Mount Kilimanjaro, whatever the hell that is. And so, up there, is that part of the SharePoint in the cloud? Are you going to teach the orphans to do PowerShell up there? Is that what you mean by SharePoint in the cloud? Yeah, we're, we're trying to get closer to the cloud, get more in touch with the cloud. I, I find that, that that gets the creative juices flowing. My chakra uh, glows a little brighter when we're, we're that close to the cloud. So, I find that's the best way to, to reach them. Gotcha. Well, that's great. Well, thanks, Todd. Um, you know, it really does seem like a great session. And I also understand you'll have a guest star there with uh, Shane Young, who might be more famous than you, if that's even possible. See, I heard that he had to do community service uh, for, for something involving a maid at a hotel room. Uh, and so he was, that, 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 that was what that was. But I, I don't know. that his, his manager and my manager, we don't, yeah, it, who knows. But yeah, oh, he, he, he'll be there. So you're explaining that the only reason someone is famous is Shane would be on stage with you as if it was a court order. I understand. The judge made him come hang out with me to see how to be a better person, how to handle your, your fame and the love and respect of so many people. So he's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, a, a father figure to him, sort of. And the drag racing, got it. <laughs> no comment. All right. Well, anyway, uh, that about wraps up our time here. So. Todd, I'd like to say thanks. Uh, I'd like to say thanks to all of the different uh, guests we've had on the show. Uh, we had Heavy No Locker Todd Clint. That guy's great. Yeah, he really was. He's a great performance for his uh, little guitar. 
Uh, international hero and man of mystery, Mr. Todd Clint, the space cowboy. Oh, that guy's work is tremendous. Did you hear what he did with that crapper on the International Space Station? That was mm, such good yep. work. We still don't know if it was bull or burritos, but uh, we'll take what we can get. And of course, now we have the famous for being famous, Todd Clint. Enough said with that look. Um, what an amazing lineup, though. And what's even weirder is everyone had the same initials of TK. It, it's just kind of it's almost spooky. I, I think on that note, I'm just I'm getting out of here. Ah! Yeah. Yeah.